coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ tutorial and we're going to be learning more on containers and I know you guys are probably sick and tired of containers now but my intention is to try and teach as much things about C++ as I can and these are uh, for the next uh, three four tutorials I'm going to be teaching about some or, or next few tutorials I'm going to be teaching about some C++ 11 type containers and for this tutorial we're going to be learning about unordered unordered sets and um let let's let's create an unordered set and uh we're going to say okay um we're gonna just call it numbers and we'll create an unordered set and why did I say multi set should be set iterator and um, we'll say it and we're gonna say numbers dot uh, dot insert one numbers dot insert 15 or 14 whatever numbers dot insert and we'll do like 10 Okay, so now we're gonna say for it equals numbers dot begin uh, it not equals numbers dot end it plus plus and we're gonna say it std end l and if we run this now when we run this I don't know if you'll notice this off the bat. But just look at the numbers, just look at the order that our numbers are set in. Now, so we have, we had 1, 14, and 10. So now let's include a regular set. And let's change this from an unordered set to a set. And um, what we're going to do is just run this. And what do you know, what do you notice that is different? What a set does is that it always organizes it in order. So even though we did it in an uh, in a way that it was in uh, it wasn't in order, so it was this number was the lowest, this was the highest, this one was the middle number. What a set did was it used its sorting algorithm in order to organize it in a in a logical order. With an unordered map, though, however, when you use an unordered set, it doesn't matter. The way the same way you put it in is the same way it's outputted. And it uses a different sorting algorithm in order to actually do things. It uses a different algorithm to actually retrieve the values. But that's the biggest difference with an unordered set. And I was seriously going to make another video on this, but might as well just include it all in one video. So with an, when you include an unordered set, you can include unordered multi-set as well. So if I went, if I said numbers dot insert and I entered a number four, another 14 it wouldn't give me an error but when you run this it would it would only use one um, one value but once you use multi set then um, then you're able to use it just like with a regular multi set it's just that this time it doesn't rearrange it in a specific order so anyways that's it for this tutorial so in the next tutorial we're gonna be learning about another unordered type of another unordered um, type of uh, container and then uh, we'll see where we go on from there I said it for the next three four tutorials but maybe I will kind of stray away from containers just because they're kind of getting kind of boring but anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this don't forget to comment and subscribe and bye for now